the Disaster Risk and Exposure Assessment for Mitigation or DREAM program implemented by the UP Training Center for Applied Geodesy and Photogrammetry focuses on 18 identified major river systems throughout the Philippines as pilot areas of study. Data gathered from these major river systems is processed by the DREAM team to develop a system that will help monitor and forecast floods, at least a six-hour early warning in vulnerable areas will help prepare people and communities for a possible flood event. The DREAM program was started just after Sandong hit the country. At that time, Sandong 2011 strong winds gusted over the whole city. Torrential rains battered on the entirety of the towns and the neighboring municipalities of Cagayan de Oro City. It was December 16, 2011, when Typhoon Sandong ravaged the south. After 12 hours of non-stop outpour, the normally tranquil Cagayan River transformed into a murky monster of rampaging muddy flood waters. It consumed the whole city, with a total of 19,952 infrastructures, homes, business establishments, and farmlands destroyed and damaged. Undoubtedly, it brought socio-economic destruction amounting to more than 2 billion pesos. But more than the material losses were the hundreds of lives claimed and lost. About 228,576 people were affected in CDO and 674 were reported dead. Just about a year after, the Cagayan River again unleashed its wrath during Typhoon Pablo. It swelled, flooding once again the cities of Cagayan de Oro. But this time, the city had zero casualty. Swelling and overflowing river basins are among the most common causes of floods. And this has been occurring more frequently over the years. There is undeniable need for our people to be better prepared and well informed during times of impending disasters. And this is where the DREAM team wishes to contribute. CDO Work DREAM's initial step in its groundbreaking operations is the acquisition of the 3D data using LiDAR and SAR technology. It operates LiDAR equipment on board two Cessna 206 aircrafts. On the ground, DREAM goes on field to validate the airborne data acquired. LiDAR data are then processed into digital elevation models and salient features. Processing is a tedious task. Every hour of LiDAR flight data takes at least 30 hours processing. And the DREAM team's task doesn't end there. The results are then incorporated into RAIN data to simulate flood models that are expected to be very beneficial for disaster and mitigation preparedness. Apollo 15 in 1971 used LiDAR for mapping of the moon. Its application for disaster-related work has been used in Europe and America for some time. The United Kingdom, through its environment agency, has pioneered in the last 15 years the use of LiDAR national flood mapping. In this part of the world, our Asian neighbors may have LiDAR data but the Philippines is noteworthy for its own capacity building feature. Dito sa Dream kasi parang ang pinaka ano niya is early warning system or early warning for para sa mga tao para yun nga maiwasan yung pagka stranded yung pagka pagkaano sa mga baha for prevention na rin. 
for future ano, calamities. Pwede siyang maging uh, basehan ng flood simulations sa, sa flood inundation. So, dahil up-to-date yung photos, makikita na itong, may kita yung specific areas kung ano yung matamaan ng baha at ano yung pwedeng balipatan or relocation sites for any flooding event. Ito yung gagamitin natin para sa pag-guide ng mga tao kung saan yung mga area na babahain. Malaking benefit yung para sa kanila na malaman agad nila na babahain yung lugar nila para makalikas agad sila. So, mababawasan yung mga damages, yung mga hindi ka nais-nais na pwede mangyari. Tulad nung nangyari nung Onday siya ka nung Sendong Floods. Last year, after the establishment of uh, this project, as well as the project, other projects from Project NOAA, we had an event last year na sa Cagayan de Oro, we had ze uh, zero casualty rate. So I think uh, that's one of the better outcomes of this project. Ito yung information na kinakailangan talaga ng, ng well, ng, 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 lalo na ng mga taong malapit sa, sa mga river systems natin, ng mga critical river systems natin. Kailangan, alam mo na kapag ganito ng kalakas yung ulan, ganito kataas ang baha. At ganito yung oras ng pagdating ng baha. Yun yung maibibigay ng, ng dream program at ng entire NOAA project. The dream is now a reality.